<laughs> it is just so good. Like well, I feel so comfortable right now. Like, a, you've got to be you've got to be pretty versatile when it comes to sex to be as versatile as <laughs> an ether bar and a flicker wisp. I mean, I look like a flicker wisp when I got my clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty bad five. I'm gonna go for the ley line, Morgan. Yeah, that's a playable four at the very least. Gets crater hoof, we're dead. Did I just die to? I should have slowed down. Don't natural order, don't natural order, don't natural order. Please don't. Yes. <laughs> oh man, guys, guys, guys. <sighs> Wait, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. He might only have one crater hoof in his deck. He might have another progenitus, but that doesn't get in there. Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, right. This is a Tron killer. Also, apparently, this is a Tron killer. As was this. What's this? Tron killer. And this. Tron killer. Tron killer? Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. This card is Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Yeah, fuck Tron to be honest. Is this the Tron killer? Tron killer. Oh, my fucking Tron killer. Huh? Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. Tron killer. It's definitely Tron killer. 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 Somebody better call Bruce Boss Tigers, wait, because that's a Tron Killer. Tron Killer, Tron Killer, Tron Killer. That is, without a doubt, a Tron Killer. Tron Killer, Tron Killer? Oh dang guys, better watch out, we have a Tron Killer here. I think that's technically called a Tron Killer. There is no doubt in my mind whatsoever that this card is the Tron Killer. Tron is done in modern, and this time, I mean it, as opposed to the other hundred times. get us there. I believe in Bob. Okay. We're gonna hit Black Cleave Cliffs, Black Cleave Cliffs, aren't we? Right, come on Bob, do your do your cool. do your job, Bob. Oh my god, I called it. We I did fucking called it. We've hit Black Cleave Cliffs, Black Cleave Cliffs.
Keepstone Falls Mystic Band in Modern. 2018 has been an incredible year for me. 2018 started on a real low point with the loss of my mother to pancreatic cancer, but it's ended on an all-time high of quitting my day job and becoming a full-time content creator. It doesn't get much more lowest of lows and highest of highs. I only quit my job back in November, and December was an absolute mess with the holiday season, so I don't feel like I've started doing full-time content yet, and more and more stuff will be coming to the channel as I gear up and get into a rhythm. But I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been involved so far. Every single viewer, commenter, person who's liked a video, donators on stream, Twitch subscribers, and of course my patrons. All the fantastic collaborations I've done this year as well. Total MTG, uh, MTG Sickly, uh, John Dunning having me on the Hive Mind, uh, the Community College actually wanted me on to be a co-host on a podcast, so the professor. Uh, Saffron Olive and Toma and Richard having me on Commander Clash. The DH Lounge crew along with Joel letting me on their Commander show. Without sounding corny, I do feel like I've got a sense of belonging in this community and content creation brings something to my life that I was sorely lacking and sorely missing. Your love, your support, it has transformed my life in ways that I could not have imagined would be the case this time last year. <laughs> I sound so fucking stern. Thank you, thank you all so much. So 2019 lies ahead and it's gonna be an exciting year and there's a lot of exciting stuff coming up. I've got plans in the works for some really interesting content and different stuff to what you've had on the channel before, alongside the stuff that you probably subscribed for in the first place. The biggest change perhaps is that I am now sponsored by channelfireball.com, the one and the only. And whilst I will no longer be sponsored by MTGO Traders and by Cardsphere, there is no bad blood there at all. I still hold both of them in high regard. I would recommend their services for what they provide. Ten Ed and Heath, thank you so much for all the support you've given me. You guys really are pillars of this community and keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. But now I am being supported by ChannelFireball.com. It's weird to say that out loud. I mean, don't forget that, what, a year ago I was looking up to Saffron Olive and a professor and now I get to argue with one of them on a weekly basis and the other one blows up my lands in games of Commander. It's It's been a wild ride and it's making me a bit emotional so I might sound a bit weird in my video today. Uh, but I just wanted to share some of the excitement I've had over the last year and what's coming up. What does Channel Fireball mean for the channel? Well, it means that I'll have some content going up on the Channel Fireball YouTube channel. Can you imagine the comment section of the Channel Fireball YouTube channel when they're expecting a decent video from my LSV or Reed Duke and they get a video of me playing fucking bees or minotaurs? It's gonna be so good! It means that I'll be at more GPs. I'm at Prague this weekend. I'm looking to do perhaps two American GPs this year if, if money uh, works out. Uh, what does this mean for the channel here and the content? Well, it's going to provide me with more support and it's going to help me reach a larger audience as well. There is no creative restrictions, there is no creative control from them. I'm in complete control of the channel and I won't be changing any of the stylistic elements that you might have come to enjoy. I won't stop swearing and I won't stop talking about dicks, essentially. And I won't stop blowing my own horn because, well... That's what you come here for, right? So this weekend, catch me outside. And by outside, I mean at GP Prague. Come and say hello. If you are signing up for a GP in the future, now I'm affiliated with Channel Fireball. If you put the code KENOBI in capital letters into the, the code field as you sign up for the Channel Fireball website, you actually uh, support me directly. It tells them that it's that it's worth them to sponsor me, and it tells them that they're a fan of the channel. And it's an easy way to support me directly um, whilst just going about doing your normal booking of GPs and getting hyped. I'll be announcing more GP dates for what I'll be doing soon i'll be filming all of them i'll be vlogging i might try and do some more unique content and some of these as well i can't wait to meet some of you sexy americans and eat all of your big meaty foods 2018 was incredible 2019 is going to be even better i'm aiming for 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year so i've only got 71 72,000 to go easy right in the meantime i'll leave you with uh one of my favorite interactions over on dies to remove all the new podcasts that myself and the professor are on and there'll be more content coming out tomorrow, over the weekend, and just forever more. You've got me for a long old fucking time now, kids. I want to play digital card games and shout about dicks for as long as you guys will watch and engage with me. I've been Vince Wilson's Pleasant Kenobi. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all very, very soon. All of a sudden, here comes, and I'm sorry, it's true, Merfolk is really good against Dredge. <laughs> Is it? It is, actually. Merfolk is really good against Dredge, and Merfolk keeps that deck in check. And what happens is, is that Modern is a format where there is never one overwhelmingly dominant deck for long. How does it beat 
dredge. You're saying that, but I don't get it. How does it be dredge? Well, I'll tell you what. Why don't you pull up a dredge deck, and I'll pull up my mer merfolk deck, and we'll we'll do a stream. I'll show you how yeah. it beats dredge. I'm, I, I am. I am so, I'm super up for that. But, the dredge yes. v merfolk uh, title, uh, title belt match. Belt match. 